when recording timed musical material in Pro Tools, that is musical material that relies on bars and beats as the main time scale, it's a good idea to use a click track to synchronize performers who are not recording in the same physical space. That is, they're not in the same place at the same time using visual cues such as body language and head nodding, etc. The things that bands do to synchronize. And there are some criticisms for using a click track, and mainly in that click tracks can tend to be a bit too mechanical and maybe don't elicit the best performances out of musicians. But they're a sort of necessary evil in getting performers together synchronized uh, without being in the same space and getting Pro Tools sessions to essentially sound their best. And there are multiple methods for creating click tracks to actually get great performances. And we'll go into more advanced methods later, but right now we're just going to go over the basic um, default click track method. So I'll go ahead and set up a guitar track because I've got my guitar. And here I'll just set up really quickly a guitar mono track, take the input from my guitar, and record enable it so we can hear it. And now I'll set up a marker at bar four, because I like to start my recording a few bars into the, my Pro Tools session, give myself a few bars of um, extra space, and I'll call this intro. And as well, I now need to create my click track. And to do this, shift apple n for a new track, one new mono, aux track. And an aux track is essentially a, an audio track that doesn't allow you to record onto it. And it's good for a click track because we're not going to record onto a click track. Double click, call it click, and I'll drag it because I like to see my click tracks above my other tracks. Apple equals to the mixer. We don't need to set an input for the click track. Instead, we need to use the inserts to use the click track plugin. If you don't see inserts at the top of the mix window, there's a small icon here at the bottom left that you can click and hold and it shows the different options for viewing. Make sure inserts is checked. Okay, we'll choose the top insert on the click track. Choose plugin, instrument, and click. Now to audition the click, we'll just press play on the um, Pro Tools transport. Now to change the sound, where it says factory default, we'll choose another sound. These sounds tend to be uh, pretty uninspiring in terms of a click. I don't know how a click really could be very inspiring outside of using a real drummer um, and a percussion track. But you can adjust the levels of the accented and unaccented clicks, which I'll do now because I find the accented to be a little bit too loud. Okay, and when you're done, just press stop. And we'll close this dialog for the click track. If we need to get to it again, we just click the click plugin. Now we'll set our metronome settings for the click by making sure that the full transport is showing. And if it isn't, we go to track or rather view transport and make sure expanded is checked as well as MIDI controls and counters. Double click the metronome icon. And now we can set out click and count off options. So we have play during, um, during play and record, or during record, or only during count off. I want it to do during play and record, count off only during record, but I want a one bar count off. So it'll give me one bars of click and then I'll come in. Now watch this icon here in the transport, it will change as soon as I press OK. Now I still need to enable the click, so I need to click on one bar. Apple equals to go back to the edit view. Now I want to start recording at bar four. Make sure that the playhead is set at bar four here in the intro and record enable the track. Last thing I need to do is the tempo is a little too fast. I'm using the tempo ruler. So this is indicated by the conductor icon here. I'm going to double click and adjust to 72. And let me disengage record, let me hear how fast that is. A little too slow. Let's try 88. Oh, 
Okay, that's pretty good. Make sure the playhead is set. So bar four, and here we go. Okay, so there's my take and I can see that it recorded just fine and if I want to hear it playback remember to disengage the record enable and press play now if I don't want to click during playback then double click on the metronome and only during record Some final details. Remember that when you're recording, check Setup, Playback Engine, and set your hardware buffer size lower so that there's little latency between the live sound and what's being recorded, especially if you're doing like I'm doing now, where I'm recording into Pro Tools and I need to monitor myself. So I'm here, I'm at 128 samples. And in some movies in the future, we're gonna go over better ways to do click uh, so that way it's not maybe as mechanical because I really feel that when you're recording music, whatever the performer hears will really affect their performance and you want to try to avoid just using something because it's there and it's the easiest method. So here the click track plugin is convenient, but maybe not the best way to get a great performance out of your soloist.